event, yeah, Tiago Silva coming back. I had him losing the first two rounds against Stanislav Nedkov. Uh, you really love seeing a guy needs to finish a fight to win, and Tiago Silva did just that, that, getting the arm triangle choke just about two minutes into the final stanza. And and the question that pops into my mind is, what's next for Tiago Silva? Um, we actually spoke about it on the MMA podcast yesterday, and Chris, you you made a really good point. Um, I threw two possible opponents out there, Ryan Jimmo and Matt Hamill, and you you agreed a lot more with the Ryan Jimmo fight because Hamill, you know, Hamill has the tools to 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 make that a boring fight, and Ryan Jimmo versus Tiago Silva, you know, one of the hardest two hundred five pound bangers against Brazil. <laughs> against probably the best Canadian light heavyweight in the UFC right now, Ryan Jimmo, both dudes who have incredible power behind their their hands. So, yeah, I'll I'll uh, pass it off to our boy Ramses with a strong take on the Yum Yum Kim, Paulo Tiago rematch versus Damian Maya shit. What do you think is next for Tiago Silva, Ramses? It, nothing's next for Tiago Silva, and that's fine. He's fine with it, too. He is now a gatekeeper. I'm sorry to say, if you look at it, it's it's not, nobody's saying, oh man, let, let's get another fight for Tiago Silva, Who, who's he going to fight next? That's not the way the UFC even looks at it. They're looking at just, uh, they're looking at their up-and-comers, and they're saying which one's going to fight Tiago Silva next, which one's at that level. Basically, Tiago Silva, he should have been kicked out of the UFC after the Gustafson loss, as far, as far as I'm concerned, man. That was his third loss in a row, even though, you know, one of them was a uh, overturned uh, decision. Uh, because what he's he's juicing or what I forget what he failed the drug test for. It was horse, horse urine. Feet. Yeah, horse Minutes urine. Minutes oh, okay. oh, oh, he handed in another species of urine. That that's great. That's great, Tiago. Um, that's why you'll never see him uh become a champion. Uh, you know, like here's the here's the new champion of the UFC, the guy who handed in horse piss that one time. It ain't gonna happen. Every time they put this guy up against a real big name and contender, uh, he has lost. He owed him cheated over Shot Evans. Um, what Gust- Gustafson pretty much kicked his ass. Uh, I don't see him going anywhere. He is a UFC gatekeeper. He's a damn good one. Exciting to watch. Fun fights. Um, solid fights. Uh, you know, you always know it's going to be an actual brawl with him. Something's going to go down. But uh, he's not advancing anywhere. He had his shot uh, probably two years ago was his prime time, and he blew it. Sorry. Yeah, um, with Silva, I, I pretty much wouldn't mind seeing that very rematch. Um, it was supposed to go down after the suspension was lifted, but I forget who got injured. I don't know if it was Vera or Silva. One of them got injured where the fight was called off, and then we ended up getting, you know, Silva versus Nedkoff. But it, for me, I would really like to see that very rematch with, a, you know, clean slate, no uh, horse piss, and see how it goes from there. Um, I'm just really not that impressed the way Silva's been fighting. You know, he looked like a killer beginning of his career. Now he's just kind of fighting a little, uh, not, I wouldn't say scared, but, uh, he's kind of fighting safe in my eyes. Not, never, never really been a big fan of his, but no, just never, never did nothing for me. I think what you're trying to say is a bit, he's a little bit gun shy. He's not kind of letting go like he's, like he's been known for. Uh, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, this fight with, uh, with Ned Cobb, I mean, I was surprised the fight lasted as long as it did. But, I mean, with what we've seen of Nedkov in the past, I mean, I know he's only had the one fight. His punches look, look wild. There's no technique. He just swings his punches. And he didn't look like he had good cardio. And, and he's shown that. I mean, if you can't fight for 15 minutes, you know, then really you need to go back to the drawing board and get yourself so you can at least do that because that's just got to be a minimum. And, of course, Thiago Silva can fight for 15 minutes. And the fact that he, he got a sub, I think that kind of says it all because he's not known for his submissions. We know he can do it, but that's not what he's known for. But Nedkov just gave him that submission because he didn't have any, any steam left. Um, <coughs> as for who he fights next, I mean, I still like Thiago Silva. I think he, you know, I still think he's a good fighter. And he, you know, he has lost to, uh, his last few fights, but he's lost to, he's lost to good fighters. And he's, I mean, obviously I saw him fight live against, uh, Gustafsson. I thought it was a pretty good fight. I mean, Gust- Gustafsson's one for the future, so it was, I don't think there's any shame in losing that. But I'd put him up against another up and coming guy, another, uh, another guy who's, who, who's on the up, who's going to make an impact and, you know, see if Thiago Silva can uh, an ups- upset the run. Uh, and the fight I'd like to see him go, uh, go against is uh, kick out Rampage Jackson because I've got no interest in seeing Rampage Jackson fight at all because he just doesn't want to be there. And let Thiago Silva take on uh, Glover Teixeira. I think that would be a really good fight. 
And I think Thiago Silva fights up to competitions. If he's fighting someone better, I think he'll fight better. Yeah, Thiago Silva to me has always been a, an exciting fighter. He's a super aggressive uh, Muay Thai guy. The the biggest glaring hole in his game um, is his um, is his uh, proficiency and technique on the feet. He leaves a lot to be desired. Um, I mean, I think he just leaves so many holes open for his opponents to capitalize at the highest level. Um, he, you know, he shored up his wrestling. It's looked better. Um, his jiu-jitsu, he's obviously a, a black belt. Um, and then you have Ned Koff, who he's a fire plug and you know, he's very aggressive, an exciting guy. But this is kind of like Phil Davis beating uh, Wagner Prado. Um, it's a high level guy facing a dude who probably shouldn't have been in there with him. And even though he rose to the occasion and put it to Tiago Silva, he still lost emphatically. So I don't think we learned too much from Tiago Silva. Like Ray and Ramsey's brought up is that every single stiff test he's ever had, he has failed. Um, so I think ideally for me, he should fight the winner of Forrest Griffin versus Phil Davis. I think either of those guys would be a, a good test. I, obviously, I think Davis is going to win. So uh, Phil Davis versus Thiago Silva makes the most sense for me. You know, for me, I uh, I had Thiago Silva and Stanislav Nedkov tied up going into the third round. I would have given it two to, two rounds to none going into the third for Thiago Silva. Uh, if it weren't for the Nedkov punch that dropped him at the end of the second round, I just think uh, Thiago Silva, he, he did a decent job in my eyes just because he was outstriking Stanislav Nedkov at every, at every point of the game. When it was standing uh, at range, he was outstriking him. In the clinch, he was outstriking him. He was stuffing all the takedowns. Um, so really, by definition, there was very little effective that Stanislav Nedkov was doing in my book. It was all Tiago Silva, and um, as as it has been mentioned before, Nedkov gassed out, gassed out in the third round, and uh, he was getting lit up on the feet, and uh, ended up getting submitted on the ground. And uh, that's you know pretty much how I, I think most of us saw that fight going. Silva finishing Nedkov. Um, as far as who he takes on next. I'd like to see him take on, I don't know, like a James Tahuna or, or someone like that. Um, perhaps Phil Davis, he's coming off a win. Um, he needs a, a, a high-profile victory himself. So um, let's see just how improved Thiago Silva's takedown defense really is. Yeah, um, you all make pretty salient points. I don't think anyone thinks he's a threat to the belt right now, but uh, it'll be interesting going forward to to see whether the UFC gives him a more staunch test than Stanislav Nedkov, especially after Nedkov took those first two rounds against him. Um, and we'll move on to the main event before we get on to the news and guess that tweet, which will be right after uh, us covering this card. We had Kung Lee defeating Rich Franklin via knockout. 